Recently, I made a video where I showed off my Stanley 2-in-1 mug and bowl set, and I asked viewers if they knew where they could be purchased, but I think they're probably out of production now. So a number of my viewers made a recommendation for an alternative that I may want to look at, and that is the Stanley Compact Cook Set. So if you're interested in learning more about the Stanley Compact Cook Set and how it compares with the 2-in-1 mug and bowl set, keep watching. Just before we take a closer look at the Stanley Compact Cook Set, I want to talk for another minute about the Stanley 2-in-1 mug and bowl set. And the reason is, one of my viewers challenged me in the comments under this video that there was no way that this had a 28-ounce coffee mug and a 32-ounce bowl. They were right. I was wrong. I was relying on information I found on an old Amazon posting that claimed that the mug had a 28 ounce coffee mug, 32 ounce bowl. What I didn't realize is they were referring to an extra large version of the mug and bowl set. So in fact, this has a 16 ounce mug and a 20 ounce bowl. Still a good size, still very usable, but nowhere near that larger extra large mug. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, what I'd like to do is go down to the tabletop, we'll take a closer look at the Stanley Compact Cook Set, and I have two other products from Stanley that we'll be comparing it with. So I'll start by showing you what you get when you purchase the Stanley Compact Cook Set. Then I'll go over the specifications for this unit. Briefly, I'm going to bring back the Stanley 2-in-1 mug and bowl set so I can give you some comparisons there. I have two other Stanley Cook Sets that I want to bring in, again, just to give you some comparisons. And finally, we will go, uh, I'll show you what it, how I'm going to be setting this unit up for carrying in the wood. So let's begin. So what you get is this complete compact unit but you don't get a stuff sack this comes arrives in a cardboard box you'll have to supply your own stuff sack if you want to have one the handle folds over and locks into place very much like many of the Stanley units there is an inner and outer unit I'll take the inner unit and set it aside for a minute so this is a pot could be used as a bowl it is stainless steel. It does have graduated markings on the side at 16 and 24 ounces. You probably could get more in this pot, but really 24 ounces is the functional capacity. That's the maximum amount of water or whatever else you want to be heating inside of this just to prevent boil overs and spills and that type of thing. Let me set that aside for a moment. So this is the inner unit. It is a food grade plastic of a type. It has a neoprene sleeve around the outside to keep your contents warm. The lid has a sippy opening on one side and drain holes on the other side. It does have a, a lift lever on there, so you lift that up. I'll set that aside for a moment. And inside you can see there is a folding spork that rests on notches on either side of the inner portion. Let's take the spork out for a minute. The spork folds out and does lock into an open position. It is stainless steel. It's of good quality, but to be honest, I'm not a big spork fan, So, but it is nice that this does come with your unit. Now, one other thing you can do with the lid, of course, is you can place it on top of your cook set when you're heating your water, just to make things sure things warm up a little bit more quickly. My only concern here, of course, is that this being made of plastic, it's fine if you're using it on top of an isobutane stove or an alcohol stove, but if you're using it on top of a wood stove or over an open fire, there's a risk that the flames will come up and do some damage to the lid. I do have a workaround that I'll show you in a few minutes' time. Okay, let's put this back together so that I can give you a comparison. Oh, let's forgot to put the inner part in. By the way, the inner part, if I haven't shown this, you can probably see notches right here on the sides of the plastic and those notches line up with little detents on the side of the pot so you just you just line it up and turn it and it locks into place so it doesn't come out put the top on close it over okay let's do some specifications for this unit so basically the overall unit by weight is 13.7 ounces which is 389 grams the height to the top is 5.5 inches or 14 centimeters the diameter across the top is 4.5 centimeter or 4.5 inches which is 11.5 centimeter and as i mentioned the inner uh, component ha is at 24 ounce volume with the outer one also be listed also being listed at 24 ounces but as you can see you can get more in it if you 
you want to. All right, let's bring the mug and bowl set back quickly. And I know this is a little bit of an exercise because if you can't get these, what's the point? Well, I just wanted to be able to show you how close they are in many ways. So the mug and bowl set comes in at 9.6 ounces and 272 grams. So a little bit lighter, of course, but then again, it is all made of plastic. The height of this unit is 4.9 inches or 12.5 centimeters. The diameter across the top is 3.9 inches or 10 centimeters. And as I mentioned earlier, the inner component of this is a 16 ounce volume with the outer component being measured at 20 ounces. All right, so let's put that aside and let's bring in two other units. So the first Stanley product that I want to bring in and compare with the Compact Quick Set is the well-known and well-loved Stanley Adventure Quick Set. You can see mine gets a fair amount of use. Uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about this unit because, to be honest, there is so much information out there on the internet and on YouTube on these units that it just takes up time that you can find that information elsewhere. But what I wanted to do is just to give you a bit of a size comparison between the two. As you can see, they're fairly close in height, although the compact cook section cook set is wider in diameter so you know these are a great little set people love them a lot of people do a lot of modifications for them they come with two of these mugs which is a green plastic mug with markings for one cup measurements uh, you can see i only have one because i have the other mug that came with this in another set that i'll show you in one moment so let's put this aside bring in the other set so this is something that I have reviewed previously as well. This is the Stanley Cook and Brew set. And basically this is not just a pot, a stainless steel pot, but it is also a French press. So to use it as a pot, of course, you would just take the inner part component out and you've got a pot and the lid off of this set also fits on top, of course, so that you can use it like that. I have the same concerns about this being exposed to open flame and I have a workaround that I'll show you in a second that I've, I've used with this quite regularly. But if you're using this to make coffee like any other French press, then you would put your hot water inside, bring it to a boil, take it off the boil, put in the uh, amount of uh, coffee compared with the amount of water, let it set for a while to, uh, you know, fully extract all the coffee. And then you would use this component, which is a mesh bottom, just like any other French press. And you would push down and separate the grounds from the water so that the coffee would be inside the inner unit and then you're ready to pour in your cup. So, you know, it is a great set. It's a bit tall, but that's fine. French press like this often is. But what's nice about it, of course, is that it's a two-in-one unit. You can use it as a pot as well as a French press. Now, I did say I had a bit of a workaround for using this over an open fire without worrying about the plastic being burnt. And it's one of these stainless steel lids that I picked up of AliExpress. And I'll put information about these in the video description below, but it just fits on nicely enough to keep a lid on top of your pot while you have it over an open fire so you're not concerned about the plastic being damaged by the fire. All right, so let's put those two units aside. We'll come back to this cook kit. And what I wanna do now is show you very quickly how I'll be setting it up for taking in the woods. All right, so I actually have two setups that as alternatives, depending on how I want to use it that given day. So the first thing I did is looked around my collection of stuff sacks I have for other cook sets, and I found this mesh bag that a, a different cook set had come in, and this is a perfect size for storing the cook set, the compact cook set in, keeping my pack from getting dirty if I do decide to use this over an open fire. So you're going to have to come up with one, as I mentioned a minute ago, and that's not too hard. It's, you're be able to find something that you can put this in. So what are the setups that I have that I, I want to use with this or that I plan on using with this? Well, let's put this open for a minute, take the lid off. There are basically two ways you can use it, at least two ways. I'm sure you'll be able to recommend others. To start with, one is with an isobutane stove. Now, I'll tell you that it won't fit the larger canister, but it will fit the smaller canisters just perfectly. They sit down inside, 
very little movement inside. You can see it, it's just snug enough inside. It makes it easy to get out. And you're also able to put in a small gas stove. And I do mean small. This is a titanium gas stove. I have not reviewed this. Again, there are so many reviews on these, but I will put links to where you can purchase something like one like this or one very similar to this uh, in the video description. You can see it is a tiny little stove for sure. And uh, I just got to fold it out correctly, of course. There you go. And it'll sit on top of that little gas canister and the stove or the pot will sit on top of this and it works very well. And I can get that down inside, fold it out of the way, drop it back into the little stuff sack that it came with. And everything sits inside just nicely. So that is one setup that you have for it. Now, if you want an alternative set, let me demonstrate that. Take the stove out, the canister out, so this is an item that I have another video on that I just came up or I just released not so long ago. This is a titanium wood stove or wood gas stove out of Australian and it's known as the Goss Hawk Eddy. Very lightweight, very compact, very effective little stove. And uh, if you want, I'll put a link underneath this video to where you can have a look at my review of this item. And this can be used with wood pellets or wood and happens to work very well with the compact um, uh, cook set from Stanley. It also works well with this titanium stove, which I'll be doing a review on shortly. So this one uh, is a Luxata siphon stove, very similar to the Tokes siphon stove, just a little bit larger inside. And if you watch my other video, you'll know that it is this designed to sit down inside very effectively. And now I can use either wood or gas with this on top and it comes out nicely. But does it nest? Of course, that's what's important. That's what we want to know. It does nest. But uh, this is another item that did not come with a stuff sack. So in order to keep the inside of my pot clean, what I've done is used a bandana. Just place a bandana over the top, drop this down, and it just fits inside. It's nice to have a bandana inside of a cook set as well, of course, because then you have a way of cleaning up. And then the lid goes on and the handle folds over and you're good to go. So the last thing I want to show you is what I came up with for replacing the plastic lid if I go to use this over an open fire so that the lid doesn't get damaged. So I purchased another one of these stainless steel lids from China off of AliExpress and I will put the link to where you can find these on AliExpress so that if you're interested in getting one for yourself. and. It fits perfectly on top, so now I don't have to worry about fire damaging the lid. But does it work and all go together as one set? Well, let's show, demonstrate that. So we start by putting the inner unit in, putting the lid back on. I can put the, fold that down of course, put that on and then very quickly fold over. And as you can see, it does all go together and lock together in a compact set with very little additional height, probably less than a millimeter additional height on top. Okay, let's wrap this video up. So obviously you can tell by the condition of my Stanley Compact cook set that I have not used it in the woods yet. So I'm not able to give you a long-term use review. But having said that, based on my experience with the other cook kits I had from Stanley, I have no doubt that this will stand the test of time because Stanley makes quality products that will stand up to the use you want likely to put them in the woods. Having said that again, I will you will see this in a number of upcoming videos. So it will get a fair amount of use because I quite like the design and the size of this set. It's it really is a good replacement for that two-in-one mug and bowl set. A little bit heavier, but still a bit more versatile at the same time. I want to thank the viewers who recommend I take a look at this because it was a good purchase on my part, I believe. Okay, I don't have much more I can say about it until I get it out and use it a bit more in the woods, but I would invite you, if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. If you have any comments as an owner of one of these cook sets, put those in the comment section below. All the information I provided, including the specifications and where you can purchase these cook sets, will be in the video description, as well as those two stainless steel lids that I showed you. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Get out and explore. Take that path less travel, because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.